Hello everyone. As we all know, NSCGS exam was conducted on Sunday, the 27th of November 2022. Year after year, we have seen the students of Fidji Punjabi Bagh acing the exam. We are hoping that this year is also no different. Let us have a chat with a few members of the team behind the success of Junior Science Olympiad at Fidji, Fidji Punjabi Bagh Centre so that we can understand the analysis of the paper and how to move ahead for the stages of Junior Science Olympiad. With us, we have here the team of experts for Olympiads. We have with us the mentor for students grooming for Junior Science Olympiad, Ms. Nareta Malik. The chemistry expert, Ms. Kajol Sharma. Physics expert, Mr. Shubham Jindal. And biology expert, Ms. Manisha Dala. The first question is for you, Nareta ma'am. Ma'am, year after year, we are seeing the students of Fidji Punjabi Bag acing exams like NACGS, Olympiads, NTSC, IITJ Advanced. Can you tell me what is the recipe for success, for consistent success that students of Punjabi Bag are acing these exams year after year? So, we strongly believe in Fidji that the best way to teach a student or make the student an expert in a certain subject is to make the subject interesting for the student so that the student can delve deep into the subject and understand it better. So we as a team are constantly adopting methodologies to make it interesting for them so that they have a love for the subject instead of just basic completion of syllabus. Along with this, individual concept tracking for each student has been an effective tool that has helped the students to realize which concepts they are becoming weak in, which concepts they need more practice in. So that has helped us to take out the potential of a child and it has helped the parents also to understand what the student is lacking and where the student needs more support from us. That is one part. The other part, of course, is the relevant mock tests that have been conducted. So this gives a simulating environment for the student for which they are going for the examination with no fear. So when NACGS actually gives it, it doesn't feel that this is NACGS, I should be scared. So that helps them to get the test environment much before they actually appear for the test. So that has been a key factor behind the success of the students in whichever exam. Because we are not teaching according to rote learning of any syllabus. We are going deep into the concepts. So whichever exam the students will sit for, they will ace that exam. Okay. Okay ma'am, so how is NCGS or any Olympiad different from other exams? Let's for let's say for example NTSC or IIT, JE Advanced. So even if uh, NACJS or a Junior Science Olympiad has a prescribed syllabus, the Olympiads do not streamline the questions to a prescribed syllabus. They say that the, ex the syllabus of NACJS is broadly class 10 NCRT syllabus. However, the questions are much deeper, much analytical. So the students with knowledge beyond 10th NCRT or I should say much deeper knowledge which shows their deeper understanding about the subject. That helps them to score in Olympiads. A student who has just superficially completed the subject or completed the syllabus as to say, that student will not clear Olympiads. So the questions in Olympiads when compared to NTSC are more analytical. But for IITJ advanced, if we say, most of the syllabus of Junior Science Olympiad and all the Olympiads, Science Olympiads are in line with IITJ. Because it is in line with JE advanced, that is why a student who is preparing for JE advanced, but has a 
passion for subjects like maths and science can uh, be a good student who can try for olympiads okay okay ma'am so nscgs paper pattern has changed we know that yeah. so how is the paper different this year when we compare it with the paper that was there during the pandemic or even when it was before the pandemic that is the pre pandemic period that is before 2019 so how yeah. has the paper changed so uh, previously the uh, junior science olympiad exam had were conducted as five stages the first stage being ncgs then we had the injs so the second stage then there was ocsc then pgt cam and then the final ijso so when the pandemic came in because of the lack of time of conducting two stages in offline mode and getting students together for that what iept had done they had combined the first two stages ncgs and injso into a single day exam called the iok js in iok js they had two parts part a which was similar to ncgs okay. and part b which was similar to injs although there were two parts they were conducted on the same day however maths was removed from the part a part as well that means there was no maths as a direct subject in junior science olympiad after 2019-20 this year ncgs in its five stage format has come back and so we had the first stage ncgs on sunday however the maths is still remote and ncgs has only physics chemistry and biology questions directly and no direct maths questions okay so ms malik as you are a faculty of mathematics i want to ask you this question now that maths is not uh, not going to um, as maths is not going to be there in the paper of ncgs does maths play no role in junior science olympiad see maths is a fundamental subject for all the science subjects actually without the knowledge of maths or without a sound knowledge of mathematics a student will become weak in subjects like physics initially higher chemistry as well as we can say in junior science olympiad the questions pertaining to biology subject especially in the subsequent stages can also be questions where the data is biological but the method to solve it is mathematical okay so in olympiads the questions are never from a single subject single concept single syllabus it is all combined which just checks your understanding level and your analytical skills so maths cannot be left out so no maths is not become uh, obsolete for their syllabus even a student who is targeting science olympiads has to have a sound knowledge in mathematics okay so let us now understand the analysis of this year's paper so let me first uh, start with kajol ma'am kajol ma'am how was this year's chemistry section different or how was it completely different or in comparison to the paper that it was last year or the years before uh, ma'am this year uh, particularly chemistry section the paper was quite on difficult side there were many questions in the paper which were tricky so students might have taken much more time to solve them like question number 17 question number 25 29 30 question number 51 uh, from question paper code 54 these questions were quite baffling and uh, they were time consuming okay. plus this year the paper contains a lot of questions from class 11 syllabus so the level of the paper this year was moderate to difficult i would say more on difficult side okay so paper was overall difficult difficult yes okay. uh, shubham sir what about the physics section Uh, Ma'am, uh, this time, uh, if we compare mm -hmm. this paper from last year, uh, paper was easy to moderate level, uh, but out of twenty uh, questions, uh, four to five questions are uh, moderate to difficult level. Uh, or, हम ऐसा बोलें तो कुछ क्वेश्चन पंद्रह सोलह क्वेश्चन के आसपास ऐसे क्वेश्चन हैं जो बच्चे आराम से सॉल्व कर सकते हैं जो एनसीजीएस के लिए फोकस्ड हैं. 
मतलब ऐसा नहीं है कि एनएससीजीएस की तैयारी नहीं कर रहे हैं तो उनको भी वो आसान लगेगा पर एनएससीजीएस के लिए जो फोकस कर रहे हैं उनके लिए पंद्रह सोलह क्वेश्चन करना बड़ा आसान है इस पेपर में और जो बच्चे ने फोकस करके पेपर दिया होगा वो आराम से इसमें फिफ्टी फाइव से सिक्सटी मार्क्स स्कोर कर सकते हैं आउट ऑफ सेवेंटी टू और इसमें एक अच्छी बात ये भी है कि इस बार जो पेपर आया है वो कम्प्लीट विद इन सिलेबस ही है मतलब नाइन टेंथ के जितने चैप्टर है सभी चैप्टर्स को इक्वली इम्पोर्टेंट दिया गया है यहाँ पे So, आप बोल रहे हो कि फिजिक्स सेक्शन कंपेरेटिवली इजियर था मतलब इजी टू मॉडरेट लेवल but uh, like we have also some questions from 9th and uh, 10th class which was not expected uh, with the biology but this year we have questions from 9th and 10th also and if we do the comparison with the last year like last year we have a uqgs uh, but this year we have an scgs a single stage mm-hmm. exam so this year uh, definitely uh, like with comparison to the last year definitely bio is on easy side but with comparison and if a student has the zeal to target all those international olympiads then he can score a good marks but definitely he has to do okay. it so let me just add one thing yes, the change in format before the pandemic uh, nscgs had only single correct questions yes. okay. after from the pandemic year when this iuqgs was introduced NACJS has or the IUPJS part A has questions a uh, few questions of multiple choice uh, single correct option and few questions of multiple correct options so that has been an addition uh, from the pandemic times and this year too they have retained the format they have for each subject around 16 questions from uh, the single correct option and four questions around in each subject for uh, multiple option correct so that is an addition and also the multiple option correct has no negative marking so okay. that's a good thing for the student right yes okay so we can assume to the analysis that physics section was mod easy to moderate easy to moderate yes a uh, biology section was moderate, moderate to difficult, difficult. Yes, ma'am. and chemistry was quite difficult yes ma'am quite difficult. okay okay so i hope everyone is listening to this analysis so navita ma'am my next question is for you what after nscgs what is fitji punjabi bar planning for the upcoming stages like injso and the other camps and all okay so first let me tell you about the next stages and when the result will come nscgs results is uh, scheduled to come by 29th december 2022 okay. and then the second stage injso is scheduled to be conducted uh, in the first week of february 2023 so about 300 students are selected from stage 1 that is ncjs for uh, and are eligible to write injso and from injso 30 to 35 students are selected for the ocsc camp okay so olympiad preparation doesn't uh, happen stage wise if a student thinks that i will clear nscgs and then i will start preparation for injso uh, that doesn't work so at fitji when we start the preparation of olympiads of junior science olympiad from class 8 and class 9 we have our final target of junior ijso in our minds so a student is trained in such a manner that a student can cater to injso immediately after nscgs that is what uh, was very helpful for our students till the last 2 years when injso and nscgs were held on the same days Combined. because it was on the same day the student didn't face a problem of preparation for injso because they were already preparing for injso so that is a plus point that uh, our preparation style has and any student who is preparing for olympia should be doing that so it is not a stage wise preparation however now that we have around 2 months for the final touch up for injso so we will have the uh, few revision review classes and also co- along with that testing and analysis 
Okay, that is very important for INJSO and post INJSO we will have our Camp Olympia uh, which has practical sessions as well as theoretical classes. The practical sessions happens in our in-house lab in Pritji Punjabi Bagh. So uh, that also gives us, our students an edge over the others because uh, they have an exposure to practical uh, experiments and that has been very helpful in all the science subjects actually. Okay, so that is it. Our students, because of this exposure to practical experiments as well as of course the strong theory background, will uh, be able to uh, do good in the subsequent stages also. Okay. Thank you all the experts. This has been a really informative session, not just for all the students who have answered the exam on 27th of November, but also for all the students who will be answering NACGS in the future years who, are, who, who want to uh, answer Olympiad exams. So we can really hope that all the hard work, the dedication, the perseverance that each and every student and each and every faculty member of Fidji Punjabi Bagh has put in will transcend into success and can be seen in the form of fabulous results which I hope will be coming out soon. Right. Thank you so okay. much Chitra ma'am and all the best to all the students who have appeared for NACGS on Sunday. Stay tuned for more updates and other relevant videos. Contact Fidji Punjabi Bagh Centre for expert guidance on preparation tips for various competitive examinations.